Hi guys, welcome back to Smoky Mountain Survival. So I haven't made a video in a long time, but I decided, well, because I normally, mostly I didn't make it because I didn't have a good video to make. So today I've decided to make a video, and with the falling of the acorns in the beginning of fall, I wanted to show you guys how to make acorn flour. And you're going to be impressed about how many insane amount of acorns have dropped this year. There is so many acorns that this year that if I wanted to collect some, I would easily collect enough for a decent bit of acorn flour in a few minutes. Luckily, I've already collected a ton. All right, so here I've collected a ton of acorns in this, and I've also got this whole thing full. So I'm just going to put these in my shirt probably, and I'll bring these back. So yeah, I've got a lot of acorns. All right, folks, um, I got our acorns. I'm just going to spread them out on this cloth for just to keep them from getting super dirty and just to kind of have a good spot to work and to get these out of my shirt. Ugh. All right. So as you can see, we've got a decent bit of acorns. This probably won't make more than like a quarter cup of flour because it just doesn't make all that much. But um, if you mix it, what I was actually doing, I was mixed it because I can't get it super fine since... I don't have a wheat mill necessarily, um, but I was just adding a tiny bit of normal flour to help. Kind of, if you're actually baking bread, then you can use it to kind of hold stuff together because it is a little bit coarse and just it. Just the acorn flour might not work just for making bread. So I'm gonna get down to this process. So these are all the in, the things you need to make your acorn flour, two bowls if you're trying to keep your mom's porch clean, <laughs> um, and a hammer. And honestly, you don't need the two bowls. You can just throw the shells out into the yard. But since I'm working on the porch, I'm just going to put the shells in a bowl because that's easier than walking out there and putting them out there. So, all right, let's get to work. All right, so step one, you have to... Uh, well, I'm going to crack these on the concrete, but step one is you take them, you give them a pretty good hard whack, and acorn shells are surprisingly soft. Normally, you can actually peel them with your fingers, but it's not super easy, so just do it until you got a little split in there, right, like that. Just pull it apart, and you got all that good acorn cheese, that's what I call it, because the little hard red oak acorns give you orange acorn cheese um so that's what i call it so then just get all that sometimes it'll come out nicely but this one's but sometimes like in the case of this one like that is how you want it to come out but this one isn't coming out super well kind of coming out in chunks but sometimes you can get them if you peel like that like that see i got a whole chunk so pretty much just gotta peel them all and it'll take you a while but you should be able to do it so, I'll do another one, just so you can see. Okay, now that one's gone. <laughs> Alright, so, give it a good hard whack. Split it open. Pull it apart. You got the acorn cheese, then just get it, that acorn cheese out. I honestly don't know why I call it acorn cheese. I think when I was a little kid, um, I used to pretend it was cheese all the time. But it wasn't very tasty. That, that's another part of this process. You have to boil them. Otherwise, they will taste absolutely disgusting because the acorns are not good. They're very, very tannin. tannin. Tannin is that stuff inside of them. So that you can actually use a tan leather. So if you were doing this, you could actually save the boiled water that has all that tannins in it. And you could use it for helping tan hides and stuff like that. Or soften hides. I guess you'd tan them with them, but... So I'm going to go through these, and it'll probably take me a few hours. See you in a minute. All right, so the next step is to get your acorns and put them in hot water. I need to let this heat up. And have two, two things of hot water going at once because that way you can have that one heat it up. So, when you, so you have to boil about five or six times. So you dump all this in that one, 
once it's the water turns brown, you put it through a colander and get all the acorns that just came out of it and put them in the other hot water, or you refill this and get it going. So you can, you have to do it about four times. And then the last time you just let it simmer for about 30 minutes and then they're good. So I've got these going. Now I just gotta get, when you see bubbles come off, you can start putting them in. So I'm gonna wait a few minutes. And all right, this is a completely optional step. Just literally do that and see, you can see all that dirt coming out of them. You can get them a lot cleaner if you do this. It's basically dry filter. Dry filtering, like I said. So the next step is completely optional. You just kind of shake them. You see all that dirt coming out. You just let all that dirt come out and get a lot of that, those peels almost off. That way you don't have a bunch of loose dirt in your water. But that's not too bad. It's not all that much, but it's not too bad either. But, but just that took me about 20 minutes. So I will say if there's any other good way to shell these quicker or in mass shell them, please tell, let me know in the comment section because I have, this took me a long time. The water's starting to get bubbles, but still just lukewarm. I'm not going to put them in yet. All right, so the water's getting to about like 150. It's starting to steam a bit, so I'm gonna plop all these in carefully. All right, so there we go. You should, you'll notice the water turning brown really quickly, but once it's turned probably about like the color of that basket or this counter, that's when you should just quick take it, take it out and put it in the next. I'm gonna put this really low because I'm gonna have to see. Look, you can already tell that water's turning tan. So just kind of bring it to a boil almost, and just wait for about five minutes for each container, and it should take you about 30 minutes to get it. So yeah, it's getting real. It's getting really orange as you can tell, but still not all that good. So just keep stirring it every about two or three minutes. Let all that tannin leak out because that tannin is the stuff that makes the acorns bitter put this light on but yeah so just keep stirring it gently until that completely turns dark brown all right so it's definitely getting browner it's been about three four minutes so i'm just going to set a timer for two minute more minutes then i will take this thing off all right we're good all right, so we look, it looks like these need to be switched. Yeah, they're very brown. Look how brown those boys are. So now we just gotta quick take this over to the sink over here. Cause I mean, obviously this is super hot, Joey, get out of the kitchen, please. Unless you want to burn to death. Take that and grab our colander. Somewhere clear and just pour all that water out. That super tan and rich water. We don't want it. One thing I've noticed is these stupid acorns normally do not like coming out of the pots. Alright, so just get those good, and now our other pot of water should be perfectly ready. Drop it. Oops. It's looking beautiful, so I'll we'll just pour all those things into it. Now you're supposed to continue doing this until either they don't have a tannin taste in them, which tastes really bitter, or you literally just do it until the water stops turning brown. So I usually do it until the water stop, at least when you put them in for about 10 minutes, it only barely leaches brown. So I'm gonna get this pot back on that burner. All right, looks good. Now I'm just gonna set a timer for 10 minutes. Yeah, look, I've literally put the, so I've literally put these in here for about 30 seconds, they're already turning the water brown. I guess you can't tell, but it's definitely turning brown. So we should put that there. And it's a timer for five minutes. And we're good. All right, so these things have pretty much stopped staining the water. So I'm just gonna quick filter them through this. And then comes the next part of the process. See, it actually boiled off the holes, which is pretty nice. All right, so the next part of the process is basic grinding it basically. All right, so we a knife. We're not grinding it yet, but we have to cut it up so it dehydrates better. All right, I'm just gonna press this down to get all of that water off. 
and then you just cut them up. You don't have to cut them all that small, but they never get that soft either, so. These ones are a little bit softer than my old ones. Like, you can mush them with your fingers, but they're still pretty darn hard. So you don't have to cut them very small. You've got to cut them. Alright, so that's how much I got from all that. I'm going to put That actually made a decent bit of flour. Uh, that should make a bunch of flour. Oh, way more than I had my last time. Has it been through all the water? Yeah, it stopped staining the water, which means it's done. All right, for the next step, you just got to put your chopped... I mean, you don't have to do this, but you, I normally put my chopped pieces in here in a food processor. In the world, you put that up. Pull it on, and then we just grind it up. Take your mostly dried stuff right out of there and grab some wax paper. And if you have a dehydrator, you can use that. If you don't, just use it. Put it in the sun for a long time. Put your wax paper on the dehydrator sheet. Or basically, put it on your dehydrator and put a bunch of your stuff on it. Alright, so I got all these on. I'm just going to put this tray right above it. We'll grab the lid, and then I think these dry out in like five hours, less than five hours. One four, set it for 140, the time, six, uh, let's just do five, they're five, because they don't take that long to dry, and then just press start, and come back in five hours, and those should be done. All right, so actually it's only been two hours since I put them in, and they're already completely hard. So, next step is we're going to have to turn this off. Unplug it. Um, and now, they're very hard and quite crunchy. They should feel like almost like granola, almost. So, now I just got to run these through my coffee mill. Which, this is an old-fashioned hand crank one, which I like the best for this because I can set the grind to very thin. Now I'll just put this in here and I will grind this up. All right, so I'm just gonna grind this up and I'll show you the results. So this is, it looks a lot like cornmeal, but that's our first um, grind of it. I still have a lot left in there to grind, but that is pure acorn flour and I'm just gonna dump that in my bag and we'll see how much we got from half of that batch so that's how much i got already and i still have a good bit left and a little bit still in this machine but um i'm gonna finish grinding this up and we'll see completely that's the final results a decent bit <laughs> it looks like i have a ton if i do that like look how much we got